What's up guys? Uh, this video is going to be pretty long. It talks about a bunch of alligators, so enjoy. We're actually going to start chasing girls for two months. Uh, they kind of get a one-track mind, fellas, you know how it is. So they'll be chasing girls until about June. Once that breeding season is over, the females that would be up here eating will actually disappear from the feeding shows, and that's when those big guys show up. At that point, again, the ladies are done with them. Uh, but it's also June, and it's 90 degrees outside. So he can now eat and process that food at a pretty quick rate. We're talking five to seven days given proper temperature. They can process just about everything they would encounter out here. So we're talking bones, teeth, feathers. Nikes don't do so well. That's a long story. Get the shoes off where you told me, Mom. Let me see if we can pull this one guy that's on the bank down here. They're being a little standoffish today. Uh, I think we are going to get some warmer temperatures here. We're almost at the end of the week, I think. It's supposed to be back up in the mid-70s. Hopefully the alligators will start moving a little bit. Last week, before this cold weather got here, we were almost at 80. Uh, and there were about 10 to 15 alligators on the bank during a feeding show. And then that cold weather hit. And now you guys are kind of seeing not a whole lot showing up over here. Now, uh, we do have both males and females out here in the swamp. Externally, male and female alligators actually look the same. So I can't really look at one and say, yeah, that one kind of looks like a boy. Come on up here then. So that one kind of looks like a girl because they're identical on the outside. There is, however, one major factor that we can use to determine males from females, and that is simply going to be size. So ladies, you don't get quite as big as the fellas do. You get upwards of 10 feet. There has never been a female documented over 11. Fellas, you get up into about the 13 foot range, maxing at around 14. So if it's over 11 feet out here, I can pretty well guarantee it's gonna be a male. Now ladies, what you lack in size, you actually make up for an overall temperament and attitude. <laughs> Good example. One of the meanest alligators out here in the swamp, due to her lovely temperament and attitude, we just call her Hillary. <laughs> Luckily, I haven't seen her yet. Well, this is, Turning out to be very anticlimactic around here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to get me a slingshot for next uh, spring. So I can launch some of those things across the way over there. Um, everybody's still moving kind of slow. Even cold temperatures, they don't do much. Their heart rate could actually slow down to about two beats a minute. If it's cold outside, they can hold their breath for about eight to 10 hours. This is winter time. Summertime, you're still looking at about 30 minutes to an hour dive times. At that point, everything's in full swing. Digestion's taking place in the summer. Heart rate's at full speed at about 65 beats a minute resting. So they're using up a lot more oxygen, but still pretty impressive dive time. Let's see if we can get this guy to move a little closer. It's looking like my one alligator I'm gonna deal with over here. And he's not cooperating very well. Now, I know they're not eating right now because of that temperature, but let's eat for that matter. We'll use Jaws since he's on the bank. You guys can kind of see him, or we can use that big guy. Let's see him. That big one over there on the point, he's probably 11 and a half, 12 feet, probably weighs 500 pounds. We'll say he's 500, so I can do some easy math. But at 500 pounds, let's say something big comes along, like a pig, a deer, maybe a third grader on spring break. Uh -oh. He can eat a fifth of that overall body weight at one sitting. So we're talking 100 pounds stomach capacity. I bet a couple of those bad kids fit right here, wouldn't they? Now, if we're at the extreme other end of that, let's say that same 500 pound alligator was having a hard go of things. Life's a little tough. As long as he gets about 10% of that overall body weight, so now we're down to about 50 pounds, he could actually go upwards of about a year to a year and a half no food whatsoever, still keeping that lovely figure of his. So it kind of shows you how good these guys are at energy conservation. Uh, this is really the advantage of being a cold-blooded reptile. You don't have to eat every day nor every week. You might boil down maybe once a month in the wild that you actually catch a meal. Your method of hunting is simply laying wait for things to come to you. So they'd be right here at the water's edge with just those eyes and that nose exposed, something gets close, they reach over, grab it, now they've got dinner. Uh, the vast majority of what they consume in the wild consists of turtles at about 
Sounds pretty good, right? Hard crunchy outside, soft, chewy center. <laughs> Making me hungry thinking about it. All right, I got a nice little hip bone here. We're gonna see if I can get this alligator back over here. Jaws does not look like he's interested today. He did this to me yesterday. Jaws was on the bank for all three feedings and finally ate a couple pieces at the four o'clock. So he is just sunning himself. This is his kind of territory, if you will. Come on over here, alligator. Uh, and he just picked a, a sunning spot right here where we're feeding at. So he's not necessarily interested. He just likes that bank. And um, we're gonna see if it'll take this uh, pelvic bone and smash it. Uh, again, enough hydrochloric acid in there to break this down in a pretty short period of time. Fetch. That's pretty good toss. I'm playing cornhole later if anybody's free. But uh, they can, well, it doesn't look like you thought that. They can process that through in a pretty short period of time, in turtle shells and all. Now, that piece did not get caught by that alligator. It probably sank to the bottom. But what's cool about these guys, around their top and bottom jaw, they have what look like freckles. These are actually sensory organs. They can detect scents as well as vibrations in the water with those. So granted, that bone's not moving much anymore, but it is putting off a pretty funky smell. So they can dive down there to the bottom, move that head around, find it, pick it up and eat it. So in a low light situation, a no light situation, which is typically when they're operating is at night, they can still find and eat stuff. They don't even have to see it. Uh, we actually have two fully blind alligators out here at the farm. Uh, they make their way by listening to see where they need to be to get fed. They had C&I dogs, they ate those. We're not buying any more. Those things can get expensive, especially once you give them two. All right, well, we'll go ahead and switch gears. Uh, it's not looking like we're gonna get much more activity out of these guys. Uh, if y'all did happen to buy any alligator chow, uh, you wanna find some that are in the water, not on the bank. They're more likely to eat in the water. It's very hard for them to eat on land as you're seeing jaws over there having a little bit of trouble. Uh, so find some in the water. Now, you guys want to hold an alligator. Miss Anna's hanging out over here to my left. She's got an alligator out. If you guys have not held one, I highly recommend you do so. Ladies, they're not slimy. They're not slippery. They feel kind of like a $2,000 pair of shoes. So they're quite pleasant. See so y'all find on her if you want to hold an alligator. If you're not into alligators, you'd rather play with a snake. I'm pretty sure I saw Bethany had something slithering around out there. Maybe a lizard. I have no idea. Uh, but he's out, out there, out back, uh, to see what's slithering around. Getting yeah, it to the back of the swamp. The further you go down this path, the bigger these guys will get. There's about 30 of them that are over 12 feet. There's quite a few big guys. All those big fellows are spaced out through this 21 acres. They've got their own territories and everything they stick to and reside in. There's probably two or three I can see right there on the bank that are pretty good sized fellas. So y'all can see them up close. Uh, last but not least, if y'all need to get rid of somebody, y'all see me down here in the corner. Other than that, y'all enjoy. Alright guys, peace out.